Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Oh yes, this review is gonna be fire. Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber and here we are ladies and gentlemen. We are back at it again! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you guys. We are back here with another action figure review. This time we have Phoenix! 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 From Arizona. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be funny if you had a friend named Phoenix? Who lived in Phoenix. I wonder if there's anybody named Phoenix that lives in Phoenix. Probably so. Probably so. Um, same thing with Dallas. Hey, hey, have you met my buddy Dallas from Dallas? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stupid. Okay, so today we're taking a look at the Marvel Select Phoenix. And this is a very sought after figure. She's a very, very hard figure to find. She is a little bit pricey. Pricey as in... 100 bucks. She goes for around 100 bucks, um, give or take, more or less. Um, if you're lucky, you can find her for 40 is the lowest I've seen her go for. The highest I've seen her go for was like 140 So this is not a new figure. It is an older figure. Um, yeah, for some reason, I don't know why. Or maybe it was. No. For some reason, I don't know why. They never put the... Oh, yeah. Oh, right. It's right here. 2005. Okay, look at that. From 2005. Holy shit. Usually, the newer, like, Marvel Select figures, they never put the dates on there. But, yeah. It's from 2005. This is the cover in which this was based on. The Marvel Comics New X-Men issue number 153 from 2004. Huh. Did not know that. There's the statue that you can get for Phoenix. Here are some of the other figures you can get. Look at that Doc Ock. Man, I don't think I've ever seen that Doc Octopus right there. Let me, get you, let me get, give you guys a close-up. That must be the movie version, dude, because I've never seen him before. He must be a really r rare, rare figure. And then, of course, there's Doctor Doom. Okay, guys, let's go ahead. Oh, yeah, here's the f uh, side cover. Side, side cover? Yeah, side cover. Uh, so let's go ahead. Take her out the package. She has not been uh, taken out the package. As you guys can see, she's still wrapped up. Her phoenix's uh, uh, wings, flames, flame wings are still wrapped up. So yeah, man, it's uh, it's about time we take her out. Let's do this. All right, guys. So we got her out. We got her out of the box. And it was a pain in the butt. It was a pain in the butt. Like a lot of Marvel Select figures. It was a pain in the butt, guys. Looking marvelous, shall I say. Now, if you guys are not familiar with Marvel Select, especially from back in the day, the older figures, they had very little articulation. And this Phoenix chick, Phoenix figure, is no exception. Um, I'll show you the guys the detail first. Let me show you guys the detail. So her eyes kind of have like a silverish vibe to them. I don't know what's going on there. Her body is translucent, well, her torso and arms are, then she has her gloves on, and then you go down here, then she has black. Look at that. I have a thing for translucent women. <laughs> okay, so as far as articulation, I'll show you guys the articulation or the lack thereof. Head is on a ball joint. Like so, her arms move up and down, uh, around, they can rotate, like, woo, look at that. She does have a bend here at the elbow, it's very, very fragile because it is an older figure, so be careful of that when you do get her. Um, she has nothing at the waist or the torso, her legs can move like that, nothing at the knees but she does have articulation in the ankles which makes absolutely no sense why why bother so essentially she is just kind of a statue dude let me give you a close-up look of her hair her hair is really nice 
the figure overall is really, really nicely done, man. There's the back of her. Nice back. Love that back. Love the Phoenix boobies. Nice, nice. Okay, so let's show you the Phoenix himself. So this is kind of like a hollow, light piece of plastic right here. But the wings are freaking heavy, dude. These are some heavy, heavy, heavy freaking wings. So, I'm guessing this is how they peg in like so. They just had the clips right there that clip in to that like so, I think. <laughs> I think. I could be wrong. I could be putting it wrong. Let's see. Let's try to match this up. What do you think? What do you think? All right. Let's try this one first. Oh, I'll show you the detail of the wings, too. So before I put them in there. Front and back, and they're really, really solid, too. Really, really solid plastic, so you know they're not going to break. Okay, I guess that's how they go in there, huh? It looks kind of weird. I feel like I got them in wrong. Let me take take this out. So you can't, they don't go down. Hold on, let me look at the picture. Yeah, the wings go up. Yeah, the wings are supposed to go up. So there's no other way because you can't get them down. Because if you put them down, then the statue is not going to hold up. So they do go up. Okay, I guess that's how it goes. I guess there's a gapage right there. Yeah, I said gapage. Okay. So, I'll show you guys the phoenix and how he looks. Look at that, dude. Fire! Fire! This bird is on fire! Head movement. Does the phoenix head move? Yeah, no, not really. So how she pegs in here, that's that's the question you're asking? Yes. She pegs in here through her feet and her heels. You're like, what? What? As you guys can see right there at the bottom, there's the imprint of her feet and then there's the holes. So her heels act as pegs. So <laughs> I got a feeling this is going to give me trouble, dude. So her feet peg in. I feel like I should do this off camera because I feel like it's going to take me forever to peg this bitch in. As I predicted. As I predicted. Let's see. Okay, so there's one heel. Fuck me. Okay, there's one heel. There's two heels. Son of a bitch! Okay, she's in. Um, I would like to say that was easy, but not really. But then again, it's always easier when you <laughs> don't have your arms wrapped around the camera to uh, uh, to interfere with the pegging process. But yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea, guys. Look at that. She stands very, very nicely. Our pegs in very, very nicely. The overall look to this Phoenix is, is pretty breathtaking, man. I have to admit, it looks really, really nice. The only thing I'm not really digging is I'm not really digging these pegs right here because you see the white part. They're just kind of hanging out. I feel like they're supposed to go in a little bit more further. That's how she looks. Let me see what I can do off camera. Okay, yeah, that's that's as far as uh, the pegs go in, which kind of sucks, man. That's some weird gapage right there, but I guess... If you're not really looking, then I guess you don't really see it. You can't really pay attention to it. But then again, but this is what she looks like. Very nice, man. She doesn't peg in there all that well. I wish the heels were a little bit longer, being that essentially she can't stand anyways because her she's off balance because of the way she's designed. Her knees can't bend, so uh, she's not going to stay on there, dude. You might have to glue her on there, but... There is the side of the phoenix. Here is the back of the phoenix. Look at that. Love it. Love, love it. Let's see how well or how long she stay, stays on there. I mean, if they were going to do this 
and give her this lack of articulation. I've said this many times before when I reviewed McFarlane figures. Why not just give us the freaking statue, man? Why bother giving us any articulation at all? You know what I mean? I mean, I probably would have been perfectly fine with just a statue because essentially that's what her, that's what she is. You can't get her in any other poses other than this. So nice, guys. So being that I have some Marvel Legends and some Marvel Select figures here on my uh, on my review station, let's break out some comparisons. So one comparison that I wanted to break out was Songbird right here. So here's Songbird and Phoenix, because I feel like, well, they're in the bird family, right? <laughs> the bird family, Songbird and Phoenix. So yeah, that's how they look. And you can see the detail. Detail-wise, she's just amazing, dude. Amazing, amazing piece. Um, and stay tuned towards the end of the video where I'm going to uh, put her with my X-Men collection. And I'm going to show you what she looks like with my X-Men collection. So let's break in. So here's Spider-Man right here. Pizza Spider-Man. That's how she measures up. And I'm, let me measure her too. I'm going to measure her as well. I just I just want to compare her with some Marvel Legends that I have, or have here on my uh, review station. So that's how she measures up with Juggernaut and Hulk. And you can see the size difference. She is she is pretty big, man. This is a, a pretty big piece. So let's do some measurements, ladies and gents. So Phoenix stands at approximately nine and a half inches tall. A little bit over nine inches tall, nine and a half inches tall. Well, actually, oh wait a minute. Eight and a half inches tall. I can't I can't read. I can't read a tape measure. I'm a fucking idiot. So wings widthwise. The widthwise, I would say probably about 13 inches. Maybe 13 and a half inches. If you guys can see that. If my measuring skills are okay. About 13 inches. We'll say 13 inches. So eight and a half by 13 inches, guys. So yeah, she is a pretty, pretty big phoenix, big bird. <laughs> She's a big bird. <laughs> I swore I seen her on Sesame Street. Okay, guys, um, let me give you my rating. And like I said, I'll put her with my X-Men collection and I'll let you guys get a glimpse of that. So Phoenix, I really, really like this statue. It's not a figure, it is a statue. Um, with that being said, it's a beautiful statue, man. It's nicely done. Oh, you know what? Before I give you my rating, being that she is translucent, I like to, I like to do a lot of uh, this for translucent figures. Let me bring her up front, move my camera out, and then I'm going to bring in some light and show you guys how awesome she looks. Because she can glow. So if you want to put a light behind her, she can actually glow, dude. So that's one thing I love about translucent figures is they actually glow. So if you want, you could put a light right behind her, man. See how she's translucent? Look at that, dude. Look at her body inside. Isn't that dope? So yeah, I love that touch right there. So yeah, if you want to if you guys want to get creative and put a light behind this phoenix, that would be awesome, man, cuz she does have as you can see there's yellow behind her and then it, when it goes out the orange gets darker so when you put a light behind her it 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 is it accentuates the statue yeah i said accentuate i know big words too <laughs> okay let me give you my rating guys uh so i'm just going to be judging this on a statue uh figure statue judgment not a figure judgment more of a statue judgment I think she's good. Um, I really, really dig this Phoenix. Um, yeah, I do wish she was a little bit more articulated. I'm not too happy with these gaps right here. And it shows the white part right there. That, that kind of bothers me a little bit. And her body, I wish the Phoenix head was a little bit higher because as you guys can see, her body is blocking the Phoenix head, the bird's head, the Phoenix bird's head right there, which is kind of sucks because I wish... The bird was a little bit higher, like above her head, to where you can see the phoenix head, you know what I mean? But overall, she's a nice piece, man. She's a really, really nice statue piece. So I'm going to give her a solid 8. I think I think a solid 8 is a, good, is a good score. What do you guys think? A solid 8. 
Uh, 8 out of 10, I think, is a good score. I don't want to give her anything higher because I don't think she's all that. But she is a beautiful piece, man. 8 out of 10 is not bad, so... All right, guys, so there was my little review of Phoenix. Um, I'm going to put her with my uh, X-Men, show you how she looks with my X-Men. So if you like this little review, like button, comment, subscribe, you know, all that shit. Just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out.